Good morning. I did a meditation this morning um, on YouTube and it was amazing um, because I struggle, you know, I hear God's voice, but I do struggle with um, getting quiet. And I think we all do because our minds are just so busy and life is so busy, just going, going, going. Um, but I did a 20 minute meditation this morning and um, it was so powerful to hear this. Um, this woman spoke and she said that rabbis and scholars say the name of God is unpronounceable because there's no vowels and that actually when we breathe we're saying the name of God the characters of his name as we breathe we speak his name <laughs> the breath of life that was blown into Adam is inside of you the breath of life the, the name of God I also some time back saw where um, our DNA actually has Yahweh written into our, D our DNA so something I wanted to um, <clears throat> share with you guys is this um, I want you if you are not spirit filled or you don't know how to sing in in the spirit um, you know the word says lift up your heads O ye gates and the king of glory shall come in now what I want you to do is just put your hand on your belly and begin to sing without words and I want you to comment in the video and below in the video and let me know if this is your first time singing in the spirit or you just got filled with the spirit the holy spirit um and remember we've taught and i've taught you that um getting filled with the holy spirit the baptism of the holy spirit is being endued with power and it's not just that getting your heavenly language that is between you and the father the creator of the earth and when you don't know how to pray the holy spirit knows how to pray and we've gotten in many situations in our life where we don't know how to pray so um psalms 46 10 says be still and know that i am god so this is how we're going to start it out. Put your hand on your belly. And I'm going to start singing. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. Breathe life over all 
those situations in our life. Know that I am for you and not against you. Know that I am for you and not against you. Know that I love you with an everlasting love. Know that I love you. Come higher with me, come higher with me, so that you can have eyes to see. Oh, God says, as you come to me each and every day, you abide in me and I will abide in you. And all the cares of the world will fall away. And all that you desire will be yours. All that I have for you will be yours. All the things that hold you down and hold you captive will be set free from you. Chains will be broken. Healing will take place. Healing in your body, healing in your mind, healing in your soul. All fractures will come back together. Oh, I will make you whole. For you are mine and I am yours. And you were put here at this time, says God. 
for such a time as this. You are not a mistake. I knew you in your mother's womb. I formed you. Come up higher, my child, so that you can know who you really are. So that life does not just throw you around. That you does not take the scraps from the table, saith the Lord. But that you come just as the prodigal son. Just as the son that was there. Everything that I have is yours. For I am your creator. Come my daughter. Come my son. Time is running out. I long for you, for there is not another one like you on the face of this earth. You will not be the same, says God, if you come, if you come and abide with me. I love you, my child. Just come. Bless you. Have an awesome day. Just come to the Father. He's your creator. He has everything that you need. Everything. Remember, Jesus came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Bye-bye.